Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Sunday. Well today we are going to be starting the Long and Winding Road by Blackbird Designs and it is 100 by 100 so it's not very big and I'm using the called for DMC which was listed in the the pattern and the material is 14 count Ada and I believe the color is Carolina linen I don't know but it it's all modeled and kind of brown modeling and the color right now we're using let me see is 3781 so the road is made up of these two colors I don't know why everything is so backwards today but it is so that's the color of the road so the outline is in this darker one and it's barely a difference there but we'll see how it turns out one might play off the other so we'll see but oh yeah it was a fight to get this material into the hoop it was great just absolutely great and I'm starting in the middle with the road only because yeah I don't know I I, I just thought I'd do something different I guess I, I have no idea but my little pea brain couldn't figure it out I don't know why I thought I'd have to count because it's not very big I mean I could have easily have started over there but we're, we're starting with the road today so what the heck just just what the heck and this is the second time that I started this video because I'm st stitching and yapping along and I was going in the wrong direction yeah it was great whoops better back up just a bit so yeah yeah it was stupendous today stupendous So this morning I worked a little bit on the violet ones, one from um, Hands Across the Sea, and I was going along, not great guns, just because you know with Hands Across the Sea everything has to change colors 15 times, and yeah, I didn't have one of the colors, so I was like, nope, we're done today. Not a good day to start that, or working on that, not starting it. Yeah, it's it's been this kind of a day. Kind of crazy. But I thought I'd just start in the middle and see where it goes. I think once I get started, it'll be fine. I crunched this material a little bit to get the stiffness out. I could have washed it, but that never seems to happen or work for me. I mean, I, I wash it and no matter what I wash it in or with or separately or you know rinse it in warm water it's still stiff as a board so it's easier just to work with the material and you know it'll soften up as I go so sometimes that works and sometimes not so much now that what was it um home of the needle worker it never really got soft but it wasn't terribly stiff like this I mean it could stand up by itself pretty much but that's okay and a lot of people stitch in hand so whatever I'm only using uh, two strands of this DMC so we'll see how it goes but I really wanted to start this since I went ahead and got all the threads for it why not right because I'm not one to have things kitted up and sitting around the only one I haven't really started is um, let's talk winter make sure I'm doing this right um, And I bought, um, what do you call that stuff? <sighs> I 
I forgot. Uh, even weave. I bought even weave for it, and I just can't get into it. Just not happening. So we'll we'll leave it, and maybe I'll feel better about it some other time. But yeah, I haven't started it yet. So it's really basically the only one I have kitted up that I haven't started. Oh, <sighs> jeez. Last night I worked on uh, with the needle too. Got a little bit more done on it. And, of course, I worked on the Bristol Sampler. So, we got three more pages to go. So, before it gets... I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. Um, just before I get across there. But I'm not completing the pages. I'm just doing the top line to get across so that's going kind of slow yesterday I don't know what was wrong with me I was just totally 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 tired so we will see I was so tired I went to bed at 1030 last night I was up at 530 of course it was great. So I caught up on the floss tubes and and just sat here and then I decided I was going to stitch for a while and that didn't go well. So I have to find that stupid purple. I don't know what I did with it or why it's not in there and Heaven knows it might be there, and I just, have you ever just gone through shit and you just can't find it? And then you go back, and there it is. It's right there. I don't know what you were complaining about, so. Yeah, some things like that happen. Okay, now what is the problem here? See, we're messed up already. I thought that was awfully far to go. But. <sighs> then I lost my thimble. Oh yeah, it's been a morning. It's been a morning. Went one too many. Or it's really not going to look like what it's supposed to look like. <sighs> okay, I think we can leave it right there. Actually, what I'm going to do... Hang in there, guys. We're, we're going to get this going yet. I told you, I have a problem with diagonal anything. And it doesn't matter what kind of material it's on. I'm just going to tie this off. And get another piece. In fact, we might start from the bottom and come back up. I don't know. Who knows? No plans to go anywhere today. Where's my board thing? I was watching Mama Loves You GB and... She was talking about places where people had found their leftover orts and stuff. Yeah, they attached themselves to my socks, to my work pants, to everything. They're in my slippers. They're actually, okay, on my porch, my big porch, you know, it's like, what, five feet by five feet. I have this... This rug thing is when I when I got there, it was attached. It's like a remnant piece of rug. You should see all the miscellaneous threads that are out there on that thing from going and yelling at Molly and Okay, we got that part done. And I really hate this hoop, but I couldn't get it into my blue hoop. My blue who? So, yeah. That was a fight beyond compare. 
So I just let it go. Some days you just gotta quit. Why? Oh, I see what's going on. I'm like, that's not going to match up. It will. It will. It will. So, yeah, we've had a few little issues today, but we're not going anywhere. Short of going to do the laundry, but that won't be until a little bit later. I want it to get a little warmer out. Because I usually just sit in my car, let it run for 20 minutes or whatever it is, and then I go in, put it in the dryer, then I sit back in my car. Sometimes I take stitching, sometimes not so much. Sometimes I'll just sit there and play on my phone for 20 minutes and go get the clothes and fold them up and get out of there. So it only takes about 40 minutes. Please, please stop. There we go. This is kind of a khaki brown. Like I don't know, it's kind of got some green in it. It's kind of weird. Didn't do any more ordering or looking for anything. I'm just giving it a rest and letting the things get here. The other stuff ought to be here by, oh, Tuesday, I hope. But that would be nice. That would be nice. And I was watching uh, Jean Ferris this morning. And uh, she was talking about don't leave your magnifying glass anything in the sunlight at all. And I never thought about it. You know, you set stuff down and go do something else or have to go and cook dinner or whatever and let it sit. And the light will cause a fire. Most definitely. So. Be aware, people. Be aware. So it's just one other thing to think about. Like we have nothing else better to think about. But it is true, you know that it will cause a fire. I, we did that little experiment, you know, back in the day, you know, at school. We thought we were doing something really great. We created fire. From the sun. Yay, that worked out. Hot dang. Yay. Except I missed the whole... What is going on here? Oh, that's where I tied that off. I'll get it in a minute. Oh, goodness. It acts like there's a piece of... Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, when in doubt, what's the worst that can happen? We fix it, or we don't. I think it's pretty much sewed in there. Okay, we got that part done. I should have had my line keeper, of course. Because it's kind of small. But we're good. Whoops. Well, crap. Wanted to finish this piece of thread here. Sorry, moving you about again to see.
seems like it's a hundred miles away. I don't know what the problem is. Three. Three. We got the first bend in the road. Yay! Or at least we're starting the first bend of the road. This might not take too long. I have no idea. You know, it just depends on how much I work on it. But it had such pretty colors, and Blackbird does a great job at colors. Do you think they have a computer program that tells them what colors look best with what? Or do they just know by now? You know? Watched a little bit of Grey's Anatomy last night. Nothing else on that was anything I wanted to watch too much. That has four, but there's three coming up the side, and that's why I kept looking to see if it, had, it was the right thing. Jeez. Some days. This seems to be an easy kind of pattern it to this road. You know, you can just get the curves right. It'll be fine. But I love it. I noticed that Gigi commented... She's the one that sent this to me. She says, I think I'm going to kit mine up, too, and start with you. So, we're having a stitch along. There's two. So, if you want to join in and you have this pattern, knock yourself out. But, don't count on a whole lot of progress. I mean, as far as me, but I know. I'm not selling the stitch along really well, but you know how my, my life goes. It's like, nope, we're not stitching on that. Nope. So, yeah. So sometimes, like the Bristol Sampler, I just started right in and I haven't quit for two weeks. So I don't know what's up with that, but, you know, we might be becoming consistent, do you think? Who knows? Who knows? Stuff happens around here. And if I don't find that thread for, um, what do you call it, for the violet thing, I'm going to have to go and buy me a, a skein of thread tomorrow. I don't know what I did with it. I thought I had all that together. And I bought some extra purples. So who knows. I'm trying to get it out of there. So, who knows? I'd hate this hoop. It just, every time you handle it. But it's all, the only one that would fit this, so. We're getting there. But I think it'll look pretty on there. I really do. I really, really, really do. It's going to get some of the other thread that coordinates with it stitch up through there just a tad to see what you know if I have to change color sometimes that happens you know it just depends on the fabric make sense I hope I hope I hope ah <sighs> crying out loud. Some days we need the needle threader. I don't think this is one of my uh, peacemaker needles. 
I think it's actually one of those DMC ones that I had. It's a little bit longer. And the eye is just a bit, what do you call it? Narrow, if you will. Okay, I think we got it this time. I got a piece of red thread from the, what do you call it? The Bristol sampler over here. I don't know how it got there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this cover, color differential or not. I'm not used to stitching this big. It's kind of or on this big of fabric. I do like the color of the fabric. And we'll just have to work with it and get it broke down and everything will be fine. I always panic way too soon. Come on. Didn't listen to my audiobook last night. I was just fried. I don't know. Just too much going on. I guess. Or lack of thereof. Just bored myself self to sleep, I guess. But I honestly could not stay awake. Past 10.30. Just all of a sudden. I'm done. So can you see the difference? I don't know. Let me try to... Whoop. Oop, I went the wrong way. Yeah, I guess it's showing up. It'll be fine once it... I've got a really bright light over here. You'd think that that would help, but... I think sometimes it works against me got a very bright light bulb in it and it tends to wash things out now that I got this bend in the river done or river in the sidewalk to the house um, Sorry. I think that I can start some of the side stuff. But we'll see. Kind of like to get this road li lay bleh, laid in so that I could see what I was doing. I'm not real happy about having to start that out, though. You know me in houses. It never works out real well. But this is done in strips. Or strips. Stripes. So... It's not, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. We will see. Oh, goodness gracious. This is more of a medium khaki, and the other is kind of a darker khaki looking. It's kind of strange. <sighs> Oops. I missed totally. I think that is going to be about it today. I know we didn't get too much done, but oh well. I don't know if you can see that up close. 
or not. But yeah, I think it'll be fine. It's just the the way I've got it in here that you can't tell the difference. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. God bless, and we will see you tomorrow. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.